What's up, Deadbeats? <laughs> Had to take a little nap there. Oh, man. That, lo- that, went- that was a lot cooler in my head. <laughs> All right, Deadbeats, what's up? My name's Dan Brock, the Deadbeats Super Affiliate. Today, we're going to be talking about one of my most favorite topics in the world, and that is how to make money working just one hour per day. So we're going to start in just a minute. I'm going to just make sure all my, all my stuff's good here. Got people live, connected. So this is one of my passion topics. One of the things that really gets me up, up in the afternoon is uh, being able to basically create time out of thin air. So this is the one thing I'm good at. This is kind of a skill that I've developed over the ages. One of my, and I'm going I'm to talk about a couple stories here today about this. So one of the things for me was I realized I was good at creating time out of thin air was back in high school and college. So I was always a big procrastinator and I'd always wait till literally like three hours before projects were due to actually do them. So I learned really quickly how to do good work in a very small amount of time. And I think I honed the skill in over, uh, over the years by, from that actual thing. So a lot of people procrastinate procrastinate. I'm sure you've done that too in the past. How are we doing the audio, by the way? Is there an echo? So through that procrastination, I uh, I learned basically how to do good stuff in a short amount of time. So today we're going to be talking about basically ways to leverage one hour of work per day to make a full-time income online. So before we start, let me just do a quick shout out. We are going to begin the lesson here at about the three minute mark. Um, let's see what's going on. CVM News says, I emailed you about, about your course, but no replies as of yet. Um, I get about hundred and some emails a day, so it's kind of hard for me to keep up with everything. I'm trying my best. Uh, try, send an email to my support email address. It's on my, uh, my Deadbeat Super Affiliate home, homepage, and uh, you'll see what's going on. So let's see who's here. We got Mike, we got Chris, we got Jake, Joe Topping Photography, always here. Good to see you, Joe. Hardy Chow, Mike C, Chris O, good to see you. You're always on. SB Films, good to see you. Uh, Fat Boy Fresh TV, what's up? Lil Savage, Info TV, Video FX, what's up? Kim, Deborah, Will. Uh, Fat Boy says no football today. I'm not really into. I don't really like watching sports that much. I don't know why. I don't really do it for me. Derek, how's it going? Trent, um, rated R reviews. How's it going? Rand, we got Complex. Derek, three. How are we doing on time? We got two minutes and fifty seconds. All right, so. Today we're talking about basically how to make a full-time living with one hour of day per day of work. Is it even possible? So if you're a beginner, the reality is, is that you, you're going to have to put in your work. So a lot of people think they can come in and just work an hour a day and technically it is possible, but it's a skill, the skill to be able to turn one hour of work into eight hours or more. So when I was first starting online, let me just give you a quick little backstory if you don't know. I started when I was in high school. I started a web hosting company. I was somewhere between sophomore and senior year. That's when the hosting company was doing the best that it did. And through that time, I learned that there, that there, you can only do so much. For me personally, for my psychological health, I, I realized I was not one of those 16 hour per day, you know, grind it out every single day work people. So I learned this is because the way I learned this was because I, during school, you had the school start at like 7 to uh, 3 p.m., which by the way, waking up at 7 p.m. was uh, 7 a.m. was complete hell. Uh, that was half my day. The other half was spent trying to get the homework, study for tests, and run my web hosting company in that time frame. So that was 16 hours a day. I was cranking out work, and I realized real quick that that just wasn't sustainable to, uh, for me. So I learned just out of necessity that I had to learn how to reduce the amount of work that I put in and increase the amount of output that I I put out. That was the only way to move forward. So I learned through that how to some different skills. I learned to put my time towards different skills that would allow me to create more time essentially. So that meant hiring people, people, getting better and faster at the basic techniques that uh, made me money and most importantly, getting better at sales, learn how to get market my products, build a brand. All of those things are great to put your time in. So if you're starting out, what I recommend is that whatever your, your, your vehicle is going to be, it could be Amazon affiliate marketing. It could be selling your own products. It could be Amazon FBA. It could be doing affiliate marketing through Facebook ads, whatever it is, I recommend you devote in the beginning phase about the first two months to three months, four hours a day in your craft. So whatever that is, let's just say you go with Amazon affiliate marketing, that means you're gonna to want to 
during the first two month phase, you're gonna put in three hours of work. This is if you really want to make that full-time income as quickly as possible. So three hours of work balanced off with one hour of learning. And I'll talk more about the hour of learning in a second. So you should do that for about the first, I'd say two months, realistically. That's what I did when I first started affiliate marketing. I was working three hours, learning one hour. So first two months, so during those three hours, what you're gonna be doing in the initial phase is first learning how to create your first affiliate site. So all of that you're gonna do manually. You can't really outsource this in the initial phase because you don't really know what you're doing. So the first month is basically spent learning the ropes, learning how to create videos yourself, learning how to write content yourself, learning how to do keyword research, learning how to build a functional website. All of these are the things that you're gonna to want to spend your time on. So that's the first month, and then the second month, once the ball starts rolling, that's when you're gonna divert your attention towards learning how to outsource all of this stuff that I just talked about. So, except for keyword research. So for the things I don't outsource, keyword research, that's something I always do. Keyword research, also using like Google Trends. That's kind of like the marketing part of the business. As the marketer, you typically don't want to outsource things like niche selection, keyword research, finding trends, all that's kind of like a skill um, that I recommend that you get good at. Getting a little bit sidetracked here. So keywords, trends, I don't outsource that. The other thing I don't outsource is the creation of my titles for the articles or the videos, those are important. So basically coming up with the flow of your piece of content, whatever that is about, I always do that. So what I do is I typically write the title for the article, for example, and I talk about like the three things I want them to talk to write about, and then I have the actual writer go in and fill in all the blanks uh, for me. So that's something that you want to do. Uh, another thing that you want to start practicing how to get good at is building a Skype Rolodex. So I, what I call Skype Rolodex is basically just your the people that you've worked with in the, in the past. So what I'll typically do is I, I'll, let's say I'm looking for five good writers. I will give each writer one piece of content and I will give them a grade. So what I do in the Skype, in the info box with a Skype next to that person, I write their, their skill their, their, their skill level, like I, I rated a grade between uh, fail to A, A plus, and then the time frame that it takes them to get back to me. So I prefer people that are like faster in like the B plus range, obviously the better, the higher score I give them the better, but what's important to me is fast response, fast turnaround time. Um, so that's the other thing you're gonna want to do during month two. So you're gonna spend your work time during month two learning how to outsource and manage people and build up your team. So after you do this the first two months, the second month is learning how to work with other people. So after you've, you've mastered that, then you can start to scale back, so to speak, only work one hour a day and get that eight hours of output, basically because you're paying other people to do the work for you. So that's a skill that, again, it takes a while to get good at. And what I want to talk about is what I think is one of the most important things. Oops, I probably gave a, uh, a bad vibration there, that little drop. So what, one thing that I really messed up in the past, this is why I'm talking about this today, is that, is that you're, you never wanna sacrifice that one hour a day of learning. So what, what happens is that once you get into like the nitty gritty of your business, you tip, you, you'll, you'll kind of start doing all your action and really not much learning. Uh, that's a mistake. So what you need to do is spend one hour a day continually, continue, can you guys hear me? Did I just mute myself? Damn it. Test, test, test. Did I get muted? Okay, we're good. Okay. Right, what was I saying? So the one hour of day of learning. So what, what I typically do is, and I, I made this a new rule for now on at this point on, is that I will spend, regardless of how much money I'm making per month, I will always spend one hour per day with learning. So for you, it could be learning about affiliate marketing. What I typically do is, I, I, I just try to soak up every single thing I can. So about internet marketing, I'll spend about an hour a day doing that. The other half is spent learning about uh, general sales stuff, psychology, all that good stuff. So uh, where I'm going with this is that, basically what I wanted to go, the direction I wanted to go with this is, is that if you want to do this one hour per day uh, lifestyle, it's an actual lifestyle. So people will you know, say like, what do you do during the weekends? You know, I can't wait till the weekend. I don't have weekends. Every day to me is a weekend. Uh, people ask, you know, oh, it's Friday, it's Saturday, what are you gonna do? Like, I don't know, just like, 
I'm gonna do what I always do every single day. And that is chill out. I'll do my one hour day of work learning in my one to two hours, maybe a little bit more depending on what I'm trying to do of work. So, uh, man, this is a bit just disjointed today. Uh, so where, where, where did I leave off? All right, so we'll go back to the one hour day of learning. Man, this is rough. So uh, this is another story. Last week, I spent about an hour learning about this topic that I heard, I've heard people talk about this in the past. They're saying how important this topic is, but I kind of just didn't have time to do it. I regret that. So this one hour of learning, it took me, I'd say, maybe one work day to figure out this new tactic. It, 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 after I implemented this one single tactic, it has increased my earnings from one of my sites by 40%, literally 40% more money from that day forward. So I look back at all the money that I've made, which is at this point millions of dollars online. If I wouldn't, if I knew this one tactic that took me literally one day of learning to figure out and implement, I would have 40% more money right now. So these things are out there. Where I'm getting at this is that there are things that you can learn that can help you scale really uh, with literally 15 minutes of work. I mean, learning the tactic took me about an hour, took me 15 minutes to 20 minutes to implement it. And I'm making 40% more money right now. And I know from this point on, it's going to continue to make me that money. So there are so many things out there. And when I'm learning new tactics, I'm specifically looking for things like that. Things that can help me scale in a matter of hours. They are out there. It's kind of hard to, uh, to understand that. But there are literally once you can take one sentence from an article and be like, oh, I could implement that. I could potentially implement that and get better results. So I've read like two pages on the topic and I was like, all right, so that works, that might work, this might work. Let me try to combine it together and see what happens. And just with that one test, I've increased my, my earnings 40%. So when you're learning, look for things that you can scale up. Those are, that's what's important. You kind of have to look through, through a mindset of how can I use this to scale up, to reduce the amount of work that I put in and amplify the output. All right, I know that was a bit rambly. Uh, hopefully, with the questions here, I can kind of, I can kind of, I can kind of help maybe make this more concrete for you guys. That was just some random food for thought. Uh, so, what, like, what? If you have any questions about what I just talked about? Let me see if I can turn this into a more of a functional thing. Okay, let's see. Questions. Let's jump with the questions here. All right. Uh, let's see. Rated R review says I truly need to make some side money. So what are you doing right now? Are you doing affiliate marketing? That's what I, I recommend if you're looking for side income. This is, the, in my opinion, the best way to make part-time income in very little time. You can, uh, I know many people that are working an hour a day, me including, I'm making a, a more than full-time living as an affiliate marketer working roughly like an hour a day just on my affiliate stuff. But of course, you are gonna have to sacrifice a little upfront. Like I said, about two months of working four hours per day three hours of focused work. Now, when I, when I say one hour of work, I'm literally hammering out one solid hour, hour of work. It's not, it's not mixed in there with freaking checking emails and like earning stats, going on Facebook. I block everything out. So that's a, uh, it comes with time. I can typically, in just one hour of, of real work for me, just as far as what the average person can do, just one hour of pure work is worth about eight to a beginner. From my, from my my ex. So I've got so good at uh, stripping out all the excess fat. Oh, man. So, yeah. So it's one of my things that really gets me uh, amped up. Like, I'm really enthusiastic. It's kind of like, uh, I don't know, like winning the game in my mind. It's like when I'm able to do so much more with least the little amount of work, that skill is kind of like the key to success. All right. Let's see here. Let's see. So people say I have, I have no vacations. I uh, every day is a vacation for me. Like I, I like to learn. My eyebrows are nuts today. I like I like learning. That's kind of like it, it makes me. It kind of gives me like a reason to wake up, just knowing that I'm gonna learn some cool stuff that can have, potentially make me ten times better. Like that one that one trick that I just talked about. I'm making I'm getting forty percent more earnings with one thing that took me an hour to learn. If I had to learn, if I had to spend a little bit more time learning this 10 years ago, oh God, I don't even know where I would be right now. I'd be, I'd be up 10 times to where I'm at. 
So if I had done a little bit more learning, um, it, it's just worth it. So, I mean, that's not really, that's not a co concrete thing that you guys can uh, really turn into anything, but hopefully it'll just motivate you to, uh, to make more money, maybe do the right thing. So William says, what is that, that thing that made me 40% more? Uh, it's split testing. There was one element on the page that I really uh, neglected. I, I was just kept, people were talking about it. I was like, ah, I don't see how that can really work that much. But after I split tested this one thing and I, I, I really spent a lot of time making it the best element on my page, 40% more higher conversions, literally 40% more. I tested this over like a period of a week. Each day, 40% higher earnings. That's huge, that is huge. And it's one of those things that I can scale. So what I mean by that is like that one little tweak, I can apply this to every single thing that I do from now on. It doesn't matter if I create products, if it's an affiliate site, ah oh crap, it's getting dark. Uh, this is just one of those things. All right, let's see, where are we at? Okay. Uh, 14 M view says I have no money to start with. Can I start affiliate marketing? Yeah, this you're, you're, you're gonna need at least like 20 bucks to get your first domain name and web hosting. So do as you can to get that. I don't care what you have to do. Cut lawns if you have to. Uh, do what you have to do. If you can't save up twenty dollars, I'm just gonna say that maybe being a business owner isn't right. Isn't for you right now. That's kind of part of the skill of being a business owner. I can't tell you how many entrepreneurs that I know that they, as soon as they make, make they make money, they spend it on a lifestyle that they can't afford. And everyone, I need more light. Hold on one second. So where I was going with that is that learning how to manage your money and at least some basic savings so you can take a little bit of capital and turn it into more capital, that's a skill. You need to start practicing it. So if you have no money right now, I think we need to address the first problem is you need to learn how to get money from any, any way that you're in your life right now. It could be your job. Get rid of some fat and start saving money. That is a skill that you need if you want to be successful with entrepreneurship. Let's see. Let's see here. Uh, L. Lucifer says, I'm a broke college student and I'm sick of it. Do you know any legit site where I can find good information so I can start get started in affiliate marketing? Just check out my YouTube channel. Check out my free guide. That The free guide is uh, www.deadbeatuniversity slash guide. I'm just sending you a link to that. This is a good place to start if you're absolutely broke. You are going to need at least like 30, uh, 20 to $30 to get your first month of web hosting. You need that at the minimum. Okay. Uh, Prosper says, do I make most of my money from paid traffic or free traffic? I make most of my money from free traffic. I am right now learning more about paid traffic. I know that there's a lot more scale there. You have to learn how to track and split tests. So that's what I've been learning a lot about over the time. Okay. Uh, SB Films says, I've been working on the Deadbeat Super Affiliate System and I'm up and running and I already made $27 within the first few hours. That's impressive. Good job. So yeah, that, that does happen for some people. Hey, SB Films, would you mind just saying that on my Facebook page? If you can, just say exactly what you just said right here. On the top, there's a pin post. Uh, could you just post that real quick? If not, no, no big deal. Just I'm trying to build that wall. By the way, to show you guys... Um, Facebook page. If you're not, go to, go to my Deadbeat Super Affiliate pay, Facebook page. This post right here, I have it pinned at the top, calling all Deadbeats. Um, if you could just, if, you, if you're earning anything from what I taught you, could you just jump on and post a sentence or two? Got a lot of good comments. Uh, got a couple recently. This was like the last day or two. Uh, Mason's making two, 100 to $200 a day because of the Deadbeat Super Affiliate system. Andrea is now making her first money within a few months. She's scaling up though, so she's in the process of scaling up. So if you're getting the results, please just uh, jump on here and comment. It just kind of gets everyone like enthusiastic about it when they're seeing results. All right, uh, so it's facebook.com slash deadbeat super affiliate. Uh, next one is, let's see. Yeah, everyone get, everyone get to give a shout out to SB Films for making it happen. That's really impressive. The first few hours, it can totally happen too. 
uh, especially if you use the, the traffic sources that get ranked quickly. You can totally make affiliate sales within the first day. I have many people email me saying they've, they've done it. Personally, because I didn't know what I was doing when I first started, I didn't get my first affiliate sale to like the third week. So even though that I'm good at this stuff, it took me longer than it has a lot of people that have emailed me. Uh, so everyone give a shout, to say everyone in the comments say uh, thanks or good job SB Films for the first sale. Uh, thank Yeah, thanks for commenting at SB Films. So anyone else could jump on there, uh, just comment, you're doing good. Uh, Paul says my mic is, is coupled to the desk. Yeah, I need to figure out something about that. Uh, Benny says I just woke up. Yeah, I did. You see the bags on the rise? That's from like a 10, 12 hours of sleep. Uh, Haley Johnson says, can you talk about how, uh, when and how to separate personal expense from your business expense? So uh, what I do is I have separate cards. I have a, a, a debit card and a credit card specifically for my business. What I'll do is also I find the credit cards that give you uh, travel points or money cash back. I use the travel points to travel to the conferences and stuff. So I'll run all my business expenses through my point card. And that, so basically uh, those points, even though they're business expenses and I'm making a profit, I still get those points. So you can use all that to do things like free travel. I get free flights all the freaking time uh, from that. So just get, it's, it's kind of like a habit. Just know when is a business expense, when's personal. Personal is anything like going out to restaurants, clothing, um, Mostly entertainment, unless you're at a conference, that can be a part of that's an expense. Uh, yeah, uh, Basat says, do you pay taxes? Yeah, I, of course, you have to pay taxes. It's just like, uh, it's just like, you know, you earn job income, it's the same thing, you need to pay taxes. Uh, Yard Style Affiliate says, I know nothing about web hosting, is that in, is that in your program? Uh, well, you don't really need to know anything about web hosting. You just need a web hosting account. If you, uh, if you get the system, I show you how to do all that. St. Ron says I should get arrested for what? Yeah. Congrats, congrats again, the SB film, right? Uh, let's see. Let's see. Uh, Best recommended review says Dan's program is legit. Thank you. Uh, let's see. Here's a good question. I can't say your name, but he, he asked, do you think if there will be more affiliate marketers, it will be harder to make money as an affiliate marketer? The way I look at it is affiliate marketing has been around since freaking like 1999. There have been affiliate marketers ever since. Some people are cut out to be an affiliate marketer. Some are not. So, I personally, I make more money as an affiliate now than I ever have before. And granted, I'm getting better personally. I'm, I'm learning more each day. But there, I'm getting comments all the time from people that just took the program. They're making sales in the first month. So I don't really think too much about competition. It just, uh, it just distracts you. What I just focus on is I try to create something really good. And I'll put my effort towards that. And it kind of just promotes itself in a way. So the better stuff that you create, the better results that you get. So what I'm saying is don't worry about competition. Just worry about doing the best that you can possibly do. And people, it's weird how it works. People just have a way of finding, um, just have a way of finding your, your stuff when it's good. It just, it's the way the internet works. If you create good stuff, people find it. It's just kind of like a weird law of the internet. World Travel says, is your video course out? How much is it? You can get my Deadbeat Super Affiliate system at deadbeatsuperaffiliate.com. I am working on a YouTube system now. Uh, I do talk a little, bit, a little bit about that in the Deadbeat Super Affiliate system, so you can get started now. The, U, this, the new system is going to take me a little bit more time than I originally planned. Uh, but I'm, I'm looking at like the or beginning of October. It's just that... Um, I want it to be like the best possible thing I can make. And I have a lot of like doing this channel, all my affiliate sites is kind of cutting into my time. So uh, it's gonna take me a little bit longer than the end. Of, uh, I, I said originally it'd be like middle of September. Uh, there's no way I'm gonna make that. So it's gonna take a little bit longer than I'd hoped. Let's see.
World Travel says is the deadbeat system all white hat. Yeah, it's it's all white hat. White hat is in like these are like appro legitimately approved, uh, you know, safe marketing tactics. I would I would however with the link building go a little bit slower nowadays just to uh, totally be safe. Okay, so Marty Marty Check It says I got a uh, a new high labor job. I make decent money, but I'm desperate to get out. Can you help me out with my project I started back when I bought your system? Uh, it, it just depends. I mean, are you, are you in my W University coaching program? I mean, I could help you more in depth it there. If you're if you're looking for me to do it, actually do it for you. I don't. I can't really tell by your comments. Like, I don't do the work for anyone that just doesn't work like that in my coaching program i can definitely point you in the right direction though so that's debbie university if you're still a member just there's a i have a debbie university class on wednesday so that's going to be pretty long join that uh trending news says my site has high seo but it isn't making money why is this dan so it can be a number of factors it could be that you're ranking for keywords that don't get a lot of traffic so are you getting traffic or not? Um, excuse me. You could, you might have an issue with conversions. Beginners typically have that issue, so you have to make your copy a little bit better. You don't. That, that's not necessarily true, but that's a, some that can hurt a lot sometimes. Debbie's uh, Orbis says, "Does my system work well for the German market? The Debbie Super Affiliate System work well at the German market? Yeah, actually, I, I've built sites in German." because uh, I know a little bit of German, took a bunch of classes on those. Uh, I built sites in German. I made, I get checks from that from Amazon still to this day. Those are like years ago I did that. So it's, it works in the German market for sure. Thriving Bunhead says, do I use NLP? Not really. I, I, I've, I'm sure it's good. People, people say good things about it, but I haven't really learned about that too much. Chris says, where can I get the Deadbeat theme? It comes as a bonus in my Deadbeat Super Affiliate system. So just go to deadbeatsuperaffiliate.com. There's a link in the video description below. Daniel says uh, that I mentioned I have good results from Bing ads. How does that compare to Facebook ads? I, I use Bing ads mostly to get traffic to my new YouTube videos to kind of jumpstart them. I've seen people doing that with Facebook though. So, uh, it's worth a shot. Personally, I'm not a Facebook ads expert, so I don't want to claim to be. Uh, let's see here. Marty says uh, he's still so you're still W University member. You're getting traffic to your site. You have eight six hundred followers on Facebook, but I have a hard time converting. It sounds like maybe the is the market is it a buying market? Is it a is a market with buyers in it? What is your do you want to talk about your market or I don't want to expose your market in public like this? Uh, I I would say with if you're getting traffic, you got six hundred members. There's some it's a conversion. There's a conversion issue somewhere in there. So product reviews. Um, yeah, like is what is the niche though? Is it is it like a buyer oriented niche? Yard style affiliate says, does your system work in a in a Caribbean? Yeah, it works anywhere. Uh, Rock and Robin says, have I been to the uh, Vegas affiliate summit? Um, I, I've been there years ago. I went to the Vegas one. I usually go to the New York one. I didn't go this year. I had something important come up. CVM News says, is your $97 program still available? Uh, if you're talking about my Debbie Super Affiliate System, it's 17 bucks right now. It's good. It's it's originally a $97 product, uh, so it's on a discount right now. It's going to raise. Joe, Ta this is a good to a good topic. I probably talk about this for ages. D Joe Topping Photography, what uh, photography says? What is the big biggest mistake an affiliate marketer usually makes starting out? I would say by far the number one mistake is they just dabble. They're, uh, they kind of go into in like a 25% effort mentality and you're, you will not make money doing that. So I think a lot of people mistakenly think that because 
I call my system the Deadbeat Super Affiliate System. You can half-ass your, your content. That's actually, it's a complete opposite. When you create really good stuff, you get results in the long term. It's a lot easier, it's a lot less work by creating smaller amounts of good stuff. Over time, you make way more money. So that's the biggest mistake. People do just the bare minimum. They'll write like two, they'll put like two articles on their site that are like 250 words. And they'll be like, I'm not making any money, I'm not making any money. Well, that's because you didn't really do anything. So you need to go in with full commitment. Even if you're just working an hour a day, you need to have that like laser focused commitment. Armand says, how do you use one link of Amazon and Deadbeat theme? So you're gonna use the single, the single product panel. Let's see. Rock and Robin says um, he'll talk more about Affiliate Summit after this video. Uh, he just wants to keep it pr uh, private. You can say it here. It's not that big of a deal. Nick, Str Nick Stokes says, what's the new product about? It's about creating a, a passive income business solely through YouTube. So if you don't know YouTube, I know a lot of people are scared with YouTube and creating videos, but this is something I've really been honing in over the last year. Uh, YouTube is very powerful and you don't have to show up on video when you know the, there's a specific formula. I've talked about it a little bit, but there are, are certain tricks that you can use to get a ton of free traffic from YouTube without having to show up on camera. Uh, you can build a, a massive email list and earn a ton of money from YouTube. So people, it's one of these hidden, I call it like a hidden in plain sight way to make money online is YouTube. So it seems on the outside kind of complicated, you know, you always produce videos. It's not, it's just as easy as creating a, a Deadbeat Super Affiliate site. It's just making it in a different format. So there are some tricks to that. Uh, so that's what I'm talking mostly about that. That's kind of like what the core program is about is creating a profit pulling YouTube channel that's all passive income. But I also talk about how to build an email list from that. So of course you can use it in any arrangement that you want. But this is where I think from this point on, like video marketing is the way you want to go. There's nothing's gonna change that. Uh, video marketing is the way to go. I just know this. I have a, a, like a, an in, a good intuition on where things are going online. I mean, I've been doing this for like 20 years now. That's where it's going. Video marketing. That is, that's the direction of all media from this point on is video. So this is where the time you wanna learn about it. Da uh, Danish Malik says, how much traffic to your websites do you get on a daily basis? Uh, my sites get anywhere from 200 to about 700 visitors, unique visitors per day. So if several sites are getting that amount of traffic. You know, it spikes, obviously. It's not consistently 700. Like I get some sites that get 200 per day consistently, some 500 consistently. I have some that get 200, but they spike up to like 700 visitors a day. Mostly all of that's from search engine traffic. Okay. Uh, Trent K says, 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 uh, says, since I'm under 18, do I need to sign up under my parents' name for affiliate programs? No, look into what's called a DBA. If you're in the U.S., it's called a DBA. You can even, even do an LLC if you want, um, if you, so that you're not running under your parents' name. This kind of keeps everybody safe. Dan, recommendations on good high-ticket affiliate programs. Check out, I have a video that I created. Search on my YouTube channel. I think it's like high payout affiliate programs. Man, we've got a lot of people on today. Uh, Rated R Review says, what are the best niche markets to make videos on? Any niche. That's the great thing about YouTube is that it's so versatile. You can do it about any topic. If you're going to use it for my Deadbeat Super Affiliate System, YouTube is great. You can do it for local businesses. You can do it for um, clubs. You can do it for just pure... Uh, affiliate niche markets. It works with any market. You just need to know how to do the right stuff. More, more real says got the deadbeat affiliate system. So far, it's good. Thank you. I put a lot of effort into that. I can't tell you how many years went into that. 
So I've, I released the first version back in 2010. I just kind of con continued to, to evolve it as time went on. Uh, uh, Chris said, Dan, I built an affiliate site last week with good content, but it doesn't rank anywhere now. So yeah, that typically happens. It's called the Google, the Google Dance or Google Sandbox. So usually the way it works is that when you create a new piece of content, if it's good, Google will push it up the search engine rankings the first week or so. Same thing works with YouTube. Now what happens is that it drops back and then if it's a good piece of content, it slowly will regain its original position. So that's the problem with people that are like, oh, I just created 200 word, two 200 word articles, I'm not getting any money. It's because it got dropped back and Google was like, this is a piece of crap piece of content. So when you put effort into creating good, genuinely valuable pieces of, of information out there, like look at the stuff that I produce, uh, it takes me no additional extra time. It just kind of comes with experience. It naturally gets results. So all my stuff is about the similar quality here. It just takes a little bit of, of effort up front, but then it works out. How to maintain it. So when you do this, this actually lasts a lot, um, a lot better. Uh, Mr. Law says your videos helps help me make three uh, $30 per day. Awesome. He says, thank you very much. Good to hear Mr. Laws. So, so everyone say congrats, Mr. Laws. There you go. Hey, by the way, if you could, uh, if you could just write that what you just said on uh, my Facebook wall, I'm trying to build up like a wall of results just to kind of like get everyone all like, woo! If you could just make a quick comment on there where I just I, I sent a link to you, Mr. Laws. Just talk, just say what you just said. That'd be cool. I appreciate that. If not, no big deal. I'm just trying to build up that wall. Uh, Andrew Hedges says, Dan, just got your Debbie super affiliate system yesterday. It's full of great content. Thanks for sharing. Uh, how can I get an affiliate link? So I, I don't accept the new affiliates to promote my Debbie super affiliate system at this time. I, there, I've got a little bit of people are abusing that. So I, I've stopped allowing new affiliates. Armand says, Dan, please respond to emails. Armand, like I get a hundred, uh, literally a hundred emails a day. I get about 30 Facebook emails a day. I get a bunch of DMS. I'm sorry if I can't answer you uh, if I missed it. I try my best. But what you can do is you can email my support team. My support team responds instantly the same day. So they're there for that, for this exact reason. If you need help with the Deadbeat Super Affiliate System, if you're having trouble, just send in an email and my team will get that taken care of for you. Let's see here. Congrats again, Mr. Laws and SB Films. Uh, <laughs> Noel says, I, I, I read your Debbie Super Affiliate uh, program during Hurricane Irma. Great content. That's cool. Hope you're safe. Stay safe. Don't do anything crazy. Let's see here. Orbis says, can I learn your course SEO and Facebook marketing? So I do teach a lot of SEO in my course. I don't talk about Facebook marketing, though, in it. That's not my, that's not my area of expertise yet. I'm learning more about that now. I just don't really know too much to really create much about uh, Facebook paid traffic right now. Okay, here's a good question. This is a great one. Uh, more, more, this is a, everyone pay attention to this. Uh, I, I have a lot of experience with this market. So more real says I created a hair loss website and I haven't gotten any money off of it yet. Although it's really good. Do you think it's too saturated? So hair loss is one of those markets that is very, very competitive, but if you're able to break through, you will make a ton of money. So if you're prepared for a battle, if you really, if you want to battle out, I, I would recommend you stick with the niche. If it's something that you have like a, a lot of knowledge about, if you're just kind of like, uh, whatever, uh, I would say probably don't go for that one. That is a very competitive market. So I had, a, I has, uh, I have a site in that it earns, it's a good niche. It's a good niche for sure. It's just, if it's a side thing, I would not recommend that for a side thing. Hair loss would be something that you do like full time. As in, you're going to do at least like two to three hours a day. If you really want to break, that is one of the most competitive markets on the, on the internet. Uh, William says, are dog products competitive? That's always a good market, dog, dog products. Now, a lot of people do sell products in there, but that's usually a good thing. Uh, K asks, how old am I? 
I don't know why it matters to my age, but I'm 31. I started when I was 11, 11 or 12. So I don't know what is that, 20 years. Now I had some I had some down periods in there, so it's not it's not like back to back 20 years. There's a few like after my web hosting company kind of uh, went awry there. I took a couple years off just to kind of reform to reform my uh, strategy. So there was like it's it's just like any hobby like you or any kind of endeavor you can never go like year by year kind of sometimes get a little bit of burnout in there but I've been making money online for 20 years for sure it's just like some of those years were not not too good what about hunting knives hunting knives is always a good market anything knives Ken says can I establish an LLC even though I'm 17 yeah it doesn't matter you might need to get your parents to like I don't, I don't even think you need to do that you, I think you can do it right away Uh, vegan cats and vegan dog products. That's probably good. Anything vegan. Um, Eric says, what does my system offer? Just check my Deadbeat Super, my Deadbeat Super affiliate homepage. There's a link below. It lists out everything that you're going to get. What is good start to go into the online marketing business? Affiliate marketing is, in my opinion, the best way for beginners. It's just lower risk. You can learn the ropes. And everything that you learn in affiliate marketing, you can apply to anything else online. So all the tactics are the same. It just it allows you to get in quick. No, not a huge, you don't have to spend thousands of dollars to give it a shot. All you need is a web hosting plan and a little bit of time. Uh, Relentless Publishing says on our websites, should we continuously create content forever or do we let the red, websites run or, uh, on their own? So it just depends. I have sites that I haven't touched in years. They still get hundreds of views a day. Um, but if it's a market where it supports continuous content, I would recommend doing it. So what you're going to want to do is learn how to find good writers that will do it for you. So the key to that, though, is you, you want a market that can, uh, that can support that. So it needs to be very buyer oriented. You need to have some kind of machine in place that so you know every article that you pay to have written, you know that that $10 investment or whatever, $10, $20 can turn into over time at least a couple hundred dollars in profit. So it doesn't matter if it takes a couple years. You just need to know that for every article you make, you're making a two, three, the 10x return on any article that you create. Jacob says, do I use AdSense with my affiliate sites? I do it's just kind of like scrap money. I, I don't really spend too much time on Google AdSense. Um, it, to me, it's really just scrap money. Some people do really well on Google AdSense, though. So it's not that it can't be done. It's just I, I don't really, uh, I haven't really spent any, too much time on Google AdSense. I do make money with it, though. It's just kind of like a side, a side burner. The Thriving Bunheads said, this is a good question. Have you ever tried to promote oral hygiene, dentures, mini implants? Uh, yeah, that's a good market. Everyone has teeth. Everyone has teeth. That's just the way I look at it. And if you can get into dentures or implants, you know the people are a little bit older. That, this way you can segment it, segment it down a lot. Trent K says, would you recommend outsourcing articles as a beginner? So in the beginning of the training or the video today, I, I recommended that your first month, you do everything yourself. So the reason why is you want to learn the ropes and learn what needs that what is kind of like that that bottleneck or that choke point where you can just put all your time into that and have everyone else do that kind of like the the back end stuff or the the grunt work you need to know and through that month of doing it yourself you know exactly where your efforts should be spent so i recommend the first month you do it all yourself second month you start outsourcing especially when you start earning some income that's just what i did all right guys I'm, i've exceeded the 30 minute uh Check out if you for for hire an outsourcer. Check out like um, Upwork. That's decent. All right, Debbie. So this is uh, I only wanted this to be like a thirty minute live stream. So I'm gonna end it out off today. I apologize if I wasn't able to answer your questions. If you want more in depth help, join my. Someone says this is pre recorded and there are fake YouTube accounts asking questions to make it look real. <laughs> That's funny. Like why would I go through that trouble? Uh, what was I saying? Man, let's see. Hey, SB Films, can you write that Facebook comment? Thank you.
I'm glad. Congrats, by the way. That's good. The first thirty days uh, dollars a day is like the first milestone. Good work on that. Uh, keep it up. Just now focus on the stuff that's working and scale up. All right, Debbie. So uh, I got sidetracked. I'm gonna end it off today. Thanks for coming out. If you haven't, make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel. Hit that bell icon so that you're notified of all my live streams and my new videos that I, that I do when I do them. Also, share this video with your friends. Comment below and uh, all that good stuff. Go take a nap. That's what I'm going to do. I'll see you deadbeats later.